Welcome back. Good as you join us again. It is sweet me say you stand there with your remote. Make sure say nobody change the channel. I go introduce myself. If just they join us, my name is Naomi Sunday. And yes, now my first time on top of this show. And uh, by God's grace, no be go be, no go be my last um, for the show as we present the Good Morning Show. We don't already talk into my headlines this morning. We don't already talk the story where everybody they discuss for inside of, um, office, for Rodo, for anywhere where you did. But we won't move now from those story one day into a very, very important matter when we say they happen or they affect everybody for country. And that one, I'm waiting to consign entrepreneurship. Between you and me, everybody knows, say, not in the sweet passing, now you they run your own business. Everybody want answer CEO. They want to say, what do they do? Oh, I own my own business. What do you do? I'm a man of my own. I'm a woman of my own. It is sweet to the talk am. But then when we see people say that they into this entrepreneurship matter, we go, they admire them, we go, they pray, we go, they fast. They say, God, make me like Mr. John. Make me like Sister Nkichi. But the question be say, easy this entrepreneurship matter. Not scam. I be easy as we they see as people they post picture, they should say they don't arrive. And one ask Oga Aigbe or Morege, the founder of Intercontinental Paints, that question this morning. Thank you, Mr. Aigbe or Morege, as you join us for the show this morning. As I'd already introduced, I say entrepreneurship, not scam. <laughs> Clearly, you're not an entrepreneur. So you don't already waka the matter. You get me when we say that they talk, say, any business will survive the first five years for Nigeria, don't make them. Now, so we did here a couple of years ago. I asked again this question yesterday. They say it never change. If you feel beat the first five years, you like say you go feel survive. But we don't already say, even say business people say they even don't they reach 10 years self, they still they close. So we could talk about this matter. How easy it be to be entrepreneur for Nigeria? <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice to see you again. Um... <laughs> the truth is, it's not easy being an entrepreneur in Nigeria. And to answer your question, entrepreneurship not is scam. Because uh, we need to give kudos to those who are actually pay to this entrepreneurship thing. It's not easy at all. Because, for instance, let's just take this season, uh, this uh, COVID-19. So, Mr. Premier, they will not take loan from bank, for instance, before the coronavirus season starts. And the season never even finished. All through the season, the bank was not finished. The season never even finished. The bank would go out. Some of them, me, I know some of them like that. Now, how do you expect that kind of organization, for instance, to survive? You understand what I'm going to talk? Yeah. Entrepreneurs for Nigeria don't get government support. We need to put the truth stop time. Like this season now, most of the businesses where young entrepreneurs have don't close down. Even big companies don't do that. If multinationals, for instance, big programs, just imagine what they happen to entrepreneurs when they in, 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 uh, trade capital at 5 million, at 10 million, at 20 million. You understand? So, so we don't even get up to 1 million as trade capital. Now, for this season, the don't are basically for salary, eat for how, pay bills, pay half rents, pay their baby. The, the office day, the bank will give them the loan. We are supposed to, to the, help them to make sure say, their business survive. The bank will kill them with the same interest, uh, uh, loan interest when they give them. So you see, say, people when they talk say entrepreneurship for Nigeria and scam, they put the wrong their mouth. You should encourage young entrepreneurs. Not forget say. SME, now they hire the highest number, now they employ the highest number of people in Nigeria. So if entrepreneurship now scam, how come this same group of people, now they hire the, the, employ the highest number of people for Nigeria? Okay, when I now the same way people they wonder. So no, no, so I feel say people don't even talk say to even be entrepreneur itself now scam. Now the running of things. Then the question say, how now they even they take the manage? You get one very important thing when you talk now. 
You talk, say, of course, banks will be say this um, business people don't already go collect money from. They go still dead their neck on top this season. They need to pay back. Whether they make money or whether they don't make profit. But the thing be say, bank go only meet person when you give money in the first place. And one of the things will be say, SMEs, they always complain about. I don't know. I'm not sure whether it don't change because as you just mentioned, bank first and how then they give money. Now I say, ah, you like say things don't change. Part of what thing that they always complain be say, access to finance, that is for bank to borrow money, give them. Now serious wahala, now in SMEs they face. Paperwork where they go present to ensure say they go fee give them money. Now another disco na in day there. So maybe we even begin start from that issue. Access to finance. It's easy for businesses to get money from bank. Bank then they readily give money to small businesses. Who then they give money? Okay. Um that was in the right person the talk to. One, I will talk of two set of bank. The microfinance bank and the regular bank or the secular bank where we get for, bank for town. Mm. You see. The people when they give loan easily to SME, na microfinance bank, and microfinance bank na slaughterhouse for SMEs because their interest too high. So microfinance bank they will be say their interest is up to seven percent a month, not per annum. Seven percent a month. So on top microfinance bank. Yes, yeah, so for microfinance bank, seven percent, some are five percent, some are four percent, some are six percent, some are seven percent. And out of desperation, this SME's uh, owner will go collect, uh, will go collect this money because they need to survive. But when you collect the money, finish it into the money. Government will come tax you. Different taxes will get now. Then you buy you you you, you go take care of uh, uh, on the normal day for good country for the country. Now government they provide those basic amenities. You will provide that for yourself. You run to the hotel from morning to evening for your office. But you know what happens? This same you know where you take. It's difficult even to grab the principal not to pay the interest. Bank. Before you know what is happening, that business will begin to go down because there is no proper uh, uh, policy in place to make microfinance bank. Now the regular bank will be say their interest still they okay. You can manage with their interest from the give up to five percent per annum to so give up to uh, twenty percent per annum. That you can manage to do business with. It's difficult to assess because if possible, they want to go and bring your mother death certificates. You see her now. Now I will tell you 2018, I applied for Bank of Industry loan. And they, is it? Yes, 2018. And they found my branch for the data print. We needed to buy equipment to go. I approached them. Our office, see what we they do. But they visited our they see what we they do, everything. Then the process starts. After they give me 20 million, they said, no, pay for loan. But then to approve the loan quick, quick, maybe 10 million. I also 10 million, uh, at least 10 million more money where I, uh, I can still manage the rest. This loan took a very long time before it was from one story to another. Then eventually they approved eight million for us. Before the approval came out, I don't want to use take money from the company account in Uganda, East Africa. As if that was not enough. They eventually they did not ask me to pay, is it 10 or 30 percent? I think 10 percent of that amount as equity. Sure. They are going to fix up for one of their microfinance. I'm from the Bank of Industry now. The records are there. They said they want this boss money to me. I brought out 800 and something thousand. Because of other legal fee, management fee, and all. 
Everything where I came was over time was close to one day. Then the 800, I feel sad. Waiting for disbursement. 2018 pass. We call it that 2019. I don't see any disbursement. I was flying between Lagos head office and their first office. Eventually, they did not get that money. Meanwhile, they took my thousand, my legal fee, my fee, put for their account, and they were busy in business. This is Bank of Industry. The account officer is fine. Okay. I, I, mean, I don't hear you on top of this matter where you don't talk. When I, and I, and I make, now you make me ask that question earlier on, say, who then can't they give money? And I understand, of course, all these plenty steps, the bureaucracy, that like, oh, even they call them bottleneck, where they're they involved, when we say they won't give SMEs money. I would just go back to experience where I get when I've been the producing one documentary around SMEs um, a couple of years back, in blessing for Delta States, and I just want to share that experience with you. So you go feel just answer the question where I won't ask. You know, say, commercial banks and other banks with the complain, say, ah, since of these SMEs, they don't get records. Since of these SMEs, they don't really get, you know, clear record to show, um, say they go get return on investment. Since some of them are just to wake up, come out, sell, come back. So now you make banks so they won't give them money. So I remember say Delta States, bless are under um, Governor Emmanuel Udwanga at that time, he gets something when they set up that period. When we say um, SMEs go form group, not be saying even like cooperative, they feel they like 14 people for that particular group. You get money with them, go give them. For the group, then go share amongst themselves. Now, for them to access the next loan, everybody for the group must have already pay back the loan. Well, then a period of around three months or a period of around four months. So everybody they check each person. And because of that, that's not they go on over the years. Government get their record, government get their papers. Why then do that thing be said to make them easy for them to be say, when they don't move from you know um Micro businesses won't enter the next level when they approach banks and bank ask for certain records. They go easily fit to retrieve. What's in government won't do that period? We say these so called SMEs where banks they always create picture like say they know Sabi waiting and they do. They won't show them say they Sabi waiting and they do and see where the record they. So if you want to move go to the next level, carry this record, show them, show them your track record. So for the past two years, they are so so you don't now so you don't already begin they operate. But still, those businesses say when they approach these banks, they still they tell them say make them go bring some kind records again. From the beginning, now make me ask you that question. Say, so who then can they give? What do you think say be the main issue where banks get with these um, um, SMEs when they Nigeria? What do be their major complaint? We don't already talk about what entrepreneurs they suffer, but maybe we also look the bank area from experience. What do you think say the banks they very concerned about? I mean, I mean, the matter be said, they don't, they don't even know what one give anybody loan at all. Okay, um, for that one, then mm. based on my own experience. Yes, now somebody like me, I feel go wrong. Then I have the required uh, document and all those things. Mm -hmm. But when I start, I don't get them. Okay. You understand? Okay. SME is SME. All of us don't have SME. Mm -hmm. If you say, okay, make I bring house now to secure loan from your bank, I can afford it. Whether you ask for Lagos, or any other, you understand? Mm -hmm. I can see a folder. But a few years ago, I'm not getting that level that I for them. You understand? Today, bank know they give certain law with tax collateral. Yes, now, based on your operation and your turnover, they give, they give you small, small things. That's okay. You don't need to bring collateral. That's a collateral. Uh, interest. Sorry. Um, uh, uh, now they just start them. Yes, it was not like that. They just start them of recent. Yes, it will not be like that at all. Before you go secure loan, you go bring. You need one million. Just say you go bring car. What maybe four million or three million. If you need five million, just say you go bring house for twenty million or thirty million. With SME, once we have for that to wait. You understand? Yes, bank get their complaints. Say, okay, these people who don't pay back, they give them the money because actually, money for you know you uh, uh, get. That is, you know, you know, put something for grant for them to give you the uh, to secure the loan. If you are not disciplined, you can easily just go about 
squander the money yes, and sir. not use to happen. That one they happen. That is the concern of the bank. Yes. But you see, nothing good comes is the bank should know that when they build the SME in this country, when they build the entrepreneurs in this country, they are not building the country. When you realize this kind of thing, that is lack of discipline, maybe based on exposure. All you need to do now to put structures in place. First, treat these people on the importance of management. How to manage their business, how to and make sure they are not eating into their capital. That is discipline. Exposing them to Operational dimension of business. Okay, so you the talk saying a bank get a responsibility to educate the SMEs when they come to their bank. See, bank get that responsibility. You don't, don't, don't be just to give money. What is it to get special for SMEs uh, enlightenment? You understand? Bank need to get special for SMEs. Hey, but no, be, but no, be burden. But you don't say that one a burden when we won't put on top bank right now because what you don't talk about, we say clearly gap there where we say we suppose fill. And I feel there's also opportunity for most businesses to step in here now so they begin to educate would be entrepreneurs. You know, people will say they won't begin enter to do their own business on waiting banks they require because you already know how banks they be now. Then get all that and they get their FX matter what we're not saying from there now the money, the main money they enter. So you go understand, say, for mm -hmm. the order of things, SM is not really the priority like that. Even as much as you don't talk, say, yes, banks supposed to drum. But no opportunity for business to enter, educate people. But it's good as you don't already paint this picture of waiting SMEs they go through. That's so let people understand, say, when they see entrepreneurs, they post picture, they pose inside office. The back story, no fine, as waiting you they see for front. But that one, I even one side. Oh. Um, Oga, um, Aibe, just educate us more. Make it be say, of course, whether you get money or I be you know get money. Just share us like three major principles where we say any SME we won't survive for Nigeria past the first five years. Suppose observe when we say if you know observe these three rules, it be things then go follow you be that. Okay, first of all, um, for you to survive for Nigeria as SME, you must get thick skin. Money will not be everything, no. What do you mean by thick skin? Like, thick skin. Like, no bleach. What do you mean by thick skin? <laughs> okay. Let me okay. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll put some table this morning. Okay. Um, what I mean by thick skin, thick skin is it will not be every time business will pay you. As a matter of fact, when you start, Sometimes sustain you. That might take us to the next level. Your focus must be stronger than what you are presently going through. That is the second one. First one, you must get when the business not the sustain you, you takes enough because of what you believe the business become. You understand? Then, the third one we say, you must be disciplined. You see, discipline is a different dimension. Some people are disciplined, they can save money. No one are disciplined. But the discipline to save money, they're not disciplined to, 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 to improve on their brain. Say, when I see opportunity, I will recognize that. So you must train yourself to recognize opportunity. It's part of discipline. You understand? So that when the comes, that some people say the money went they look for for bank, one individual to The money went they look for for bank, they are coming to the same You understand? So you must be part to recognize opportunity when they come. If you can do this, a strong entrepreneur can survive in the career very well. A very, a very key point you mentioned there. You don't already talk, say, get thick skin. Um, they focus and recognize opportunity when it comes. Maybe only for bank, go they run to see the opportunity. People will say, then they around with money. Then they find who they go won't give that money to, to help the business. So you say, put ear for ground. Open your eye, make it here, reach back. So no one will say, person will be say, go they interested in waiting you want to sell. And first of all, to even start, make it be say, the thing where you want to sell, make it even they worth selling. 
Now the matter with me, I go feel one add for uh, top that matter. Um, okay, we just said before we round up, we know say for all this wahala we person they go through before you get money from bank, oh, whether you get at the end of the day, oh, whether you focus, I be you know focus, uh, focus, oh, whether you see opportunity, you know see opportunity, oh, you know they easy. Entrepreneur when sit down, they make money only for himself. He get, he get wife, he get husband. So when we sit down, then they carry family, then get children, then get family. We say that they take care of whether now whether they live or or whether they far. So many things they go on for their mind. How you feel say entrepreneur if he put himself together? You don't talk say yes, stay focused. It's easy to talk him. But when you don't look bills when you need to pay, electricity tariff of course don't go high. For when we say you go born when you not get electricity to start with, tax when they wait you. See also day one corner as well. So make you just tell us. How you feel put your mind set to ensure say Chris no follow when frustration don't enter. <laughs> well, uh, this you see this question when you ask, I can relate it very well. Mm. Because sometimes the pressure they did too much. They did, they did. So the essence, sometimes you will almost get rid of or the grave will just come back overnight. But you see, I'll just relate with you, which don't help me over the years. I, you must understand that faith is everything in life. After hard work, in fact, your hard work without faith is not going to work. When you don't do all your hard work, and you say, yes, you don't work hard, go on, go through. Believe that your hard work will pay off. Like me, I, in fact, I, I get serious pressure sometimes. The business will not go the way you plan it. And maybe you don't take loan from different places. And the people will come hard on you. Trust me, nobody will, whether the na bank give you loan, the individual give you loan. So long you not come to meet up with your obligation as scheduled, they will come hard on you. And they will use everything within their power to get their money. Blackmail, you know, police, so DSCC. Not because you are a criminal, but because they need their money at that time, and their money is important. So, just like that, because serious pressure, sleepless nights, all those things. But if you feel money that easy, telling yourself, say, hey, if I die now, I'm not going to pay this money, this people's life will continue. But if I stay alive to put you, I will pay this money, and I will, I'll get. Something good to tell the younger ones tomorrow. Go home and sleep. But that is after you have done all you need to do. You understand? Yes. Whether you crack your head or don't crack your head or life goes on. Like me, if business they move where well, praise God. If you not they move, I come back home to my family and start playing with my children. You understand? You must learn to give yourself peace. As a matter of fact, for you to creative, your mind must be at peace. Because once stone day, once difficulties in business come, and you trouble yourself too much, you never get it. But once you calm down, ignore the problem first. Go about enjoying your life. If you get that dream, if you get beach for your area, go the stroke for beach. If that book you get, read. If you might not be carried book, if not boy, you the you got the flavor. Just do anything that distracts you at that time. Why you are doing that, inspiration will drop. How to solve the problem. Very key point. But if you, you keep now, now very key point you talk there. I I I agree with you. What you know I talk, we say make sure say your mind they at peace. Everybody, when we see people, they get mental issue. We go face in a village, we go face in a spiritual issue. Not be him. Sometimes when you look, say your business or they move, money not day. Well, the place is not block. It they reach me person off sometimes. You understand? So it's good that you don't mention that issue of that mental health. Say your mind must today to get like my friend will say, you must be at peace at yourself. Why? Because Maka, this life is so full. This life now one. Okay. Um I um, um, thank you so much for your time. Now you be the founder of Intercontinental Paints. Um, as you don't join us for our show today, we thank you. Make we also apologize to viewers for the poor audio way they did here. But clearly, I don't say you get some meat from waiting on God. Aigbe talk this morning. Oga Aigbe, your hostel go pay. Your hostel no go turn to struggle. Thank you as you join the Good Morning thank Show you. this morning. Make you enjoy the rest of Carina. your week. All right then. Thank um, you. Oga Omo, Aigbe Omo Regede, now you be founder of Intercontinental Paints. Uh, before.